Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a 2023 Ram 3500 Longhorn Dually. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. It's an inline six, by the way. It goes through a six-speed automatic transmission. Now this one has the six-speed ISIN because it is the high output. So it produces 420 horsepower and then 1,075 pound-feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood, you guys can see how it kind of just slopes down on either side. We've got our 3500 heavy duty badge, and then we do have the cab lights there at the top. Now the Longhorn has these special headlights. The Limited also has the same lights. If you guys are wondering, they look really cool with the daytime running lights. And then we have this huge chrome front grille with the Ram logo. Notice there's a camera below the logo. Parking sensors down below, and then you guys can see fog lights there as well. And putting it all together, finished in bright white. I think this is a very good looking pickup truck. Come around the side here, tire and wheel setup is 235-8017 in the front and over in the rear as well. And yeah, you can see we got the wheels blinged out with chrome because it's a Longhorn. Now I've got these body painted fender flares here with the Cummins badge. We got the Ram logo down below. New style trailer mirrors with the body painted door handles. And then you've got more fender flare action there on the back with one of the marker lights. And speaking of the back, you guys can see the leaf springs back here. <laughs> quite a bit and then obviously this is a dually that's why we got the dual rear wheels but putting it all together i really like the look of this truck now you guys will notice this one has an eight foot long bed if you get the mega cab you'll have a six and a half foot bed so here's a key fob you guys can see we've got our unlock function lock function remote start the tailgate drop down and the longhorn logo there on the back but we'll press that and ooh. now as equipped this truck has just over five thousand pounds of payload capacity notice it has a spray and bed liner from the factory and then we've got all of the plugins and everything for the fifth wheel setup we also have an actual outlet here in the bed as well and like i said this one has an eight foot bed lifting up the tailgate it's actually pretty easy to do now i've got the led lights back here you can see the other marker light right there and then we've got all of our badges here on the back and then parking sensors here at the bottom as well now finishing things up, this has a 3.73 axle ratio. It hasn't been upgraded to the 410 axle ratio. So I might be a little bit off my numbers, but I think that means that it can tow closer to about like 30-ish thousand pounds. Let me know in the comment section below if I got that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's somewhere around there. Uh, because again, this has the dually configuration, the high output. Now popping inside, this is why you get a Longhorn. Look at this interior trim. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And we got the power side steps. And then taking a look at the seats, you guys can see again, Longhorn there on the seat, but beautiful perforated leather. You got like the cowhide texture here on the side. Notice how it's like cracked there as well. That just looks fantastic. And then you got your under seat storage. And then this one has the little ice buckets. Legroom here in the back is actually really good. You guys can see we've got a little saddlebag storage space. Again, you got that cracked design. And then look at the wood trim here with the cup holders. We've got our vents here in the back. We've got heated seats. We've got USBs and a full outlet. And then headroom back here is also great. Would you look at that? We also have a cup holder armrest and <laughs> cloth trim on the side. Funny. Now taking a look at the front door panel, you guys can see again with the leather trim, look at the wood and then again that cracked design down below and then all of the stitching here. We've got all of our window controls, front two are automatic. The mirrors do power fold in, we got our memory seat function and then this one has the new style trailer mirrors. So you've got the lights there here on the one side and then this is for the convex mirror adjustment, that's for the mirror extension. And there's a quick look at the mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring too. And then here's the front seat, notice long horn yet again and then perforated all down the center portion, then you got that cracked design as well. And then power adjustments here on the side. And then this is just turned on the outlet in the bed. You've got our light controls here with our fog light and then our cargo light. And then the steering wheel adjustment there, it's manual and then you can adjust the pedals too. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, we got really nice leather trim all around. You got the contrasted stitching on the center portion. Look at the wood trim here at the bottom. We got our gear limiter right here, radio controls on the back. 
with our regular cruise control and adaptive cruise control, phone controls, and then controls for the center stack. And of course, you got a turn signal windshield wiper stock. And with the long horn, you get this like nice leather trim and stitching here for the column shifter. Now, since this is a 23, we've got the new full digital gauge cluster here with the Longhorn. Um, so first off, we'll actually scroll up to the top menu here so you can see the speedometer. We can do analog or we can do digital with the speedometer. I still kind of prefer the analog view because I think it looks a little bit nicer. And then if you notice there off in the far corner, it shows you how much depth you have in the truck available. And then the other menus, just different bits of information on the truck. And then of course we have the full nav view as well. Now in reverse, we do have a 360 camera system. So we have these trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and tons of different viewpoints with the truck. As you can see, even the bed cam, which you can zoom in with. I think that is pretty fun. Um, but I mean, you literally have camera views for everything, including like out the side as well. Now that's the resting infotainment system. Um, first off, you guys can see we can control our heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel from the infotainment system. Uh, I can't say the same for Ford because you just don't get heated steering wheels anymore. <laughs> but anyways, response time's great. You notice that we've got this shortcut bar here at the bottom that lets you go into the different menus, um, which just makes you know using this a little bit easier. And yeah, like, look at that, it's great. So at the top here, we've got this for the lane departure, stability control, and then we got climate controls on either side of the infotainment system with our radio controls as well. And then at the bottom, we got all of our auxiliary buttons here with our parking sensors, front rear diesel exhaust brake, tow haul mode, and then your stability, can or not stability control, trailer brake controls right there. And then I did want to mention really nice leather trimmer on the dash. You're gonna get like the cracked leather there in the center. And then notice with the Harman Kardon sound system, then really nice wood trim here. You actually have a 12 volt there at the top as well. We've got our drive line select here. So we've got two wheel drive, four wheel high, four wheel low, and then your true neutral. And here's the center console. So again, got that crack design. We've got our limited Longhorn edition plaque there. And then you can see opening this up, that little measuring chart there. And then this slides backwards and forwards and really nice wood trim with the little coverings here for the storage. Wireless phone charging pad. And then you guys can see we've got the USB ports and then we have a full power outlet as well and while we're on storage here's the glove box set up nice leather trim and then look at the wood trim here with again long corn now up top this one just has the regular mirror and then you guys can see we've got a power sliding window and we also have a sunroof in this truck as well well there is a monumentous amount of glare so it's kind of hard to see base msrp on this seventy four thousand seven hundred dollars this one has quite a few packages i'll name the ones not every single package but the ones that i think are interesting to go over so longhorn level one equipment group four thousand dollars for that uh, the high output diesel twelve thousand four ninety five for that it also has a 50 gallon fuel tank which is pretty cool um but anyways after all options one hundred one thousand six hundred and eighty dollars is the total msrp on this truck all I gotta say is, you can live in your truck, but you can't drive your house. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, which do blind spot monitoring, and then throughout the rest of the rear, and Dually away. <clears throat> Actually, there you go. We'll set that up. For some reason, lately, whenever I film in Sandy, I always get like little uh, throat aches. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the air quality over here compared to where I live in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, it's it's always weird. I always get like like I go back home and my throat's completely fine. But anyways, other than uh, Ben Hardy personal gripes with filming in Sandy, apparently, this truck really nice. Really expensive though too. But really nice um so with 3500 dually yeah unloaded it is gonna ride pretty rough again you don't have any weight over the leaf springs and so there's quite a bit of balance in the back end that being said though seats are very comfortable so that's a huge plus tons of torque out of this engine and again this one um as of you know what i saw on the window sticker it looks like it has a 3.73 axle ratio i didn't see the 410 added to it um so this isn't going to be like the punchiest version of the 3500 but you know i mean we still have a 1075 pound fuel torque so it's still probably going to be pretty crazy that's one of those conversion vans um that's one of the vans that's like kitted out to uh like do wheelchair access but anyways this engine's so weird when you don't have a, a load behind it so this you can tell like this is tuned to basically uh, best way to describe it is to be like 
great when towing because of like how the torque band is or anything, but when you're not towing, this everything about this truck just feels awkward. <laughs> really, it's it's such an interesting experience. That's what always is like crazy to me that people daily drive dualies and like without towing with them, it's like, oh man, I would not want to daily drive one of these. I'd rather like I'd if if I couldn't afford like a fully loaded one like this. I'd rather buy like a base model version and then get like a commuter car on the side. Cause you could basic, like between the base model version of a 3500 and fully loaded one, you could you could buy a car <laughs> with how much the packages on these trucks cost. But seriously, this interior is so nice. Um, I mean, like this rivals so many like luxury cars. And again, this is a pickup truck. I still, still think Ram has the nicest interior. Um, I've, you know, I haven't re fully like officially reviewed the new Super Duty, but I've, you know, seen the new Super Duty interior because I've reviewed the new F-150s. And I just, I don't know, Ram's interior just has more leather and everything, just feels nicer. That's so weird. And plus like, look, actual leather here on the dash, like you can squish it, right? This though right here is not leather, I don't think. It feels more plasticky. But let's get our full blown acceleration here with all 1,075 pound feet of torque. Woo! I mean, it's punchy. It, it definitely takes a second for it to get into it and everything, but it's, it is punchy. I mean, for a truck this big, it shouldn't be this fast. It has no right to be this fast, but it is. So setting things up, I love how this truck looks. I, I'm, I'm just a fan of Longcorn. The interior is beautiful. I mean, this thing's, you know, a towing monstrosity, even though it doesn't have the 410 axle ratio. The only downside, man, it's just the price, right? $100,000 for a Ram pickup truck. Like who would have thought that we would live in a world where a Ram pickup truck without any modifications, just straight from the factory would cost $100,000. Let me know what you guys think about this.